Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So I just recently passed the Security Plus exam about three months ago. In this video, I'm going to walk you guys through whether or not I think the Security Plus is worth taking and whether or not you guys should consider taking it as well to go ahead and kickstart your career in cybersecurity. So in this video, I'll be looking over three different criteria to come to my conclusion on whether or not I think the Security Plus is worth taking. The first criteria is going to be the cost of the course itself. So if it's really worth the price tag number two is going to be the career benefit what kind of benefits are you going to receive and what are you going to gain after earning this certificate and how is it going to benefit your career and your career advancement number three is going to be the knowledge gained so what exactly are you going to learn and how is it going to be applicable to an entry-level cybersecurity role with that being said though guys before we get inside of the video go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new my name is Ben and I make videos about cybersecurity and my journey throughout my cybersecurity career. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit subscribe and join the family. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the first criteria, which is going to be the cost of the certificate itself. So when you consider the entire landscape of cybersecurity certifications, I'll go ahead and leave a chart right over here with a bunch of them. You can see that the majority of them range from anywhere from 300 to over $1,000. And looking at the Security Plus exam, the voucher itself costs $392 to buy. And when you look at this spectrum, it's going to be at the lower end of this spectrum, uh, which kind of makes sense because the Security Plus itself is considered an entry level cybersecurity certification. So even though $392 is a pretty hefty chunk of change, when you look at the entire spectrum of cybersecurity certifications, the Security Plus itself is going to be on the cheaper and the more affordable end of certifications. On top of that, there's a couple different ways that you can find to go ahead and make this price tag a little bit more affordable for you. So for example, if you are a student in college, um, you can use a student discount and buy a voucher with your student discount for a more discounted price. If you're someone who is working a job, whether it be full-time or part-time, you can always check in with your employer to see if it's something that they can go ahead and reimburse the cost of the Security Plus voucher because it shows that you're investing in yourself and you're able to use that skills that you learn from the Security Plus to benefit the company as a whole. So when it comes to the cost of the Security Plus certificate, I'm gonna go ahead and consider this worth it because of the fact that it's on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to cybersecurity certifications, which makes sense because it's considered an entry-level cybersecurity certification. But let's go ahead and move on to criteria number two, which is going to be career benefits. How will it benefit your career and what kind of weight does it hold when it comes to employers? So if you're someone who is looking to get into cybersecurity, a lot of times you'll see the Security Plus as the main poster boy, uh, cybersecurity entry level certification to get you a job in cybersecurity. And to a certain extent, that theory is relatively true because right now there's a huge demand for cybersecurity professionals in the industry and a way for you to separate yourself from all the other applicants is to show your credibility, to show your knowledge, and to show that you have some form of capability when it comes to a cybersecurity role. And one way to do that is through cybersecurity certifications because it shows that you studied you understand the material and you're able to perform and pass the exam. So that way you can transition and use those skills that you learn and that knowledge that you learn in the entry level role. One thing I like to do is to really put myself in the position of the employer. So let's say I have two resumes. One person has a security plus exam and one person has nothing. Obviously, I'm going to lean towards the person who has, who has a security plus exam. On top of that, uh, one myth is that the Security Plus exam itself will get you a job in cybersecurity, but a lot of times the Security Plus exam won't be enough uh, by itself to get you a job. So a lot of times you might have to pair it up with a bunch of different other certifications, maybe a Network Plus, maybe an A Plus, uh, maybe a more advanced uh, level of cybersecurity certification, or you can also pair it up with things like projects, home labs, uh, maybe a blog or some form of way to show that you'd have uh, sort of knowledge and capability in the cybersecurity field. One thing I've also been doing just out of curiosity is I've been looking at job postings for entry level positions. And a lot of times you'll still see the Security Plus as something that they require or they prefer in candidates to have when applying for these roles. So a lot of times the Security Plus still holds a lot of value and a lot of weight for these employers. And it's something that they're actually looking for in potential applicants. So when it comes to the second criteria, career benefits, 
I believe the Security Plus exam still holds a lot of value and can really contribute to advancing your career, especially if you're someone who is looking to get an entry-level role in cybersecurity. So let's go ahead and move on to the third criteria, which is going to be skills slash knowledge gained from taking the Security Plus exam. So the way I like to look at the Security Plus exam is that it's extremely broad, but it doesn't go too deep. So it's going to be pretty surface level, but it's going to cover a bunch of different topics when it comes to cybersecurity. And there's going to be a lot of pros and cons when it comes to this kind of approach because you learn a lot of stuff but you won't learn a little bit too much about it because you won't learn things like practical skills you won't learn things like languages or actually using maybe like a sim or something like that or getting hands-on experience you won't get that from the security plus but you will have theoretical knowledge uh, you will have a a brief understanding of certain cybersecurity concepts, but you won't have that deep, deep knowledge. You might have to go ahead and take certain um, more advanced certifications to get that hands-on experience. I know there's a lot of like blue team and red team uh, certifications you can use that have hands-on labs, or you might have to do just projects on the side for yourself to boost up your resume and to have and to get that really hands-on experience that you won't get from the Security Plus exam. So what kind of skills and knowledge do you actually learn from taking the Security Plus exam? I'll go ahead and leave a screenshot to all of the exam objectives uh, right over here, but you have a broad spectrum of a bunch of different uh, knowledge when it comes to cybersecurity concepts. But one thing I will say is that when you eventually start your role, your entry level role in cybersecurity, having this background foundational knowledge in these different concepts is going to really come in uh, as really helpful uh, when you're really starting out at these roles. Because if you came out with absolutely no background and no certification at all, you would have no idea how certain things work. Um, how to use certain things, what these different things mean. But having the Security Plus uh, certification under your belt is going to be able to equip you with certain knowledge that you need to be able to kind of perform at a certain level uh, right out the gate. So I'm going to use myself as an example. So I actually got my Security Plus certification a little bit before I started my job in cybersecurity. But a lot of the entry-level knowledge and the concepts that I learned from the Security Plus exam helped me perform at my role right out the gate. Uh, to a certain extent, uh, sort of at a basic level. But having that Security Plus knowledge really came in helpful because they use a lot of acronyms. I, I needed to know what things do, how things work. And the Security Plus exam actually helped me with these certain things and helped me a lot when it comes to getting started at my entry level cybersecurity job. So when it comes to the third criteria, the skills and the knowledge gained, I would say it's a 50-50 just because you don't get any hands-on experience and really any technical skill from taking the Security Plus exam. But on the other hand, you do gain a broad uh, foundational knowledge of different cybersecurity concepts, which is also going to benefit you in your entry level role. So to summarize this all at once, when it comes to the Security Plus cost, when it comes to the career benefits, when it comes to the skills and knowledge that you gain from taking this exam, I believe that it's still worth taking and it's going to benefit your career, especially if you're someone who is looking to get an entry level role in cybersecurity. If you guys enjoyed this video and you gained any value from it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. With that being said though guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.